What is up, YouTube friends? So a couple people on Facebook have been wanting me to go over how I made this transfer table, and but figured I'd show them kind of the parts I used, and everything is off-the-counter, over-the-counter type parts, except for this um, bridge, or well, I call it the bridge. It's uh, 3D printed. Um, the original one I made was out of wood, and it worked just fine, too, so you don't have to do anything fancy like 3D print it, but I will copy a link to the STLs that I created for this. I did little cutouts so that I could put uh, railing up. And then I printed a little house on the that goes in the middle, the little transfer station or whatever controls it. So yeah, that's how I, I did that part. And then the rails are just big CNC rails. They're 120, no, 1,200 millimeter rails for a CNC. They're on Amazon, as well as these glides that come with it. And then they just mount to the bottom of my 3D printed bridge. And then these are little adjustable screw feet so you can adjust the, make it level. And then I put it all on this um, shelving system. So Home Depot and Lowe's have these custom built shelf systems that you can buy and you can buy the horizontal ones. And this is the vertical post that goes on the ends. So you can, I mounted my rails to it because I knew it would be solid and square. And then eventually I will fill in this bottom part with boards and then do some gravel or something down below it to make it look real. And then this will be a little pit to go under it to accommodate for where the ball screw hooks to. And this is a giant 1,200 millimeter ball screw off of a CNC as well. You can get these on Amazon too. And uh, this is a, it's a NEMA 23 stepper motor. I think yeah it's a NEMA 23 and then this is a just a stepper motor controller and a programmable motion controller that's also for a CNC I think this was pretty cheap it's you just hand write well not hand write but you can program using these buttons how many steps you want it to do so if you want it to do I think it does 11 or 1 million steps per movement and then you program it in and you just hit start and then it's going to move a, a predetermined, yeah, a predetermined amount of steps to move it, the, the train to the next slot. And then eventually I'll wire it up so that I can drive these off. I'm all battery power, so I'm not worried about powering my track. So they'll just drive off into their little spot. Because moving these things suck so bad. Every time you touch them, something breaks. And it doesn't help when they weigh 70 pounds like this thing. Or the big boy or the Hudson, those are all really heavy and they're hard to move. I figure I'll only get older, so if I make it easy for myself now, then I won't have to worry about it. So that's kind of a quick and dirty version of how I made this. If you'd like some instructions on how to actually program the controller, I can do that too. It's not too tough. Uh, the instruction manual is decent. It's not in Chinese. And yeah, oh, and I use a 24 volt power supply off of Amazon and I'll make a parts list like I said and put it all in the description below and uh, hopefully you guys make one better than me because this looks pretty rough it's functional but the detail parts and making it actually look good are not my forte so yeah have a happy day and we'll catch you later